Well, what's up again there guys, Brian here, the 3Topics Gamer, and I have another interesting requested video to share with you guys today. Now, I posted on my most recent uh, kind of tabs on my community tab. I was curious if you guys would actually be interested in seeing a tour video of my little love nest here, and I actually got a lot more positive uh, thumbs up to actually see one than I was expecting, so this is what we're going to do. So, in a few moments, I'm going to do a little tour video just kind of showing you just how everything arranged and uh, you know, hopefully you guys might be a little bit impressed. So if you like this little tour video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, keep track of me on my future videos. So without well, any more time, let's jump right into my tour room of the Three Topics Gamer. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the hallway outside of my little love nest. Um, the ironic part is I actually have to turn on quite a bit of lights because uh, even as expensive as this phone is, it doesn't do very well in low light areas. So as you would open the door and enter my little love nest, this is kind of primarily what you see. Now, one thing I've never quite liked is how my filming place and my sleeping place are in the same place. So this is primarily what you see. And we'll just go over each individual area just kind of in order. And I got to be careful about the light there. So as you turn around, right as you would enter the door, the first thing you would see are my two probably most prized posters that I have of Metal Gear Solid 3. As for some of you know, it's my favorite game of all time. That one was actually signed by the voice actress who does the voice of the boss. And I think I'm going to try to get David Hayler to, autogra <laughs> to autograph that one when I see him at MGS Con later on this year. On the other side of the door... Up here, I actually have two uh, posters of Vegeta and a skateboard of Blue Eyes. Some of you. Now, my brother actually got me the metal picture uh, poster of Vegeta, and his lovely wife actually got me the smaller one. And one thing, uh, just a heads up for me, is that if I have a picture of you, it means you are pretty special to me. Now, right as we turn the corner is my closet and this is primarily where I keep all my collection editions I've collected over the course of my life and I have a lot of them and I mean a lot of them uh, I think if I had a smaller place I'd have to put these in the storage unit but yeah I do have a lot of them I I don't I don't throw away boxes even, even my console boxes I typically keep them and this is also where I keep a lot of my Funko Pops. And that jo Joker portrait was actually given to me just last, my last birthday. And this is where I keep most of my shirts that I wear for my channel. As you can tell, they're of many different varieties. And here is just where I keep like a number of just random figures. I gotta, I gotta clean this part. It's a little cluttered. But as you can see, it's uh, the uh, Tim Burton Batmobile Lego set. The Tumblr Lego set. And the most recent Batmobile. Now, and just a couple random things. And yes, that is a properly functioned bow that belonged to my father, but in, you know, I, I sort of inherited. And another thing that's kind of special is this amp that I was making for my Chromograph cosplay. I think I'm going to keep this for a long time because this is actually one of the few things I actually built with my dad. And I got a couple really cool helmets that you can all fit. And on top of those, I can just keep all my hats. And up here is my Air Jordan 1 collection in High Lugia. You know how special it is to me. And I have a lot of them. If anything happens to me, all of these go to my brother. And just as a heads up, if I end up actually dating a special girl, literally the first thing I'm going to do is buy her a pair of Air Jordan 1s. And this is just where I keep all my games. Um... They're, they would be a little bit more spread out. And a uh, random keyblade. Oh, almost forgot. The Ulax from uh, Chronicles of Riddick. As we head back out, there's my bed where all the fun action happens. I, I am thinking about changing the sheets uh, and making them a little bit more nerdy like. Although I'm not sure, unless there was a girl who was a nerd, wouldn't be interesting coming here. Uh, this is usually my collector's case, but I really haven't had a lot of time to fill it up. I've been kind of busy. And on top, I have a, another Batman figure. That's actually the Pat Jet. Uh, I got to figure out a better place to put that. 
And on top, this is actually a five-part portrait that my brother sent me, I believe, a few birthdays ago. Now, uh, as we head back this way, I actually, since I live in the master bedroom, I actually have my own bathroom. And unlike my, uh, mine is actually pretty clean. Yeah, not too many stuff. Yeah, but uh, pretty clean for the most part. Now, let's jump over here. Just a couple random things. You know, N64, backup laptop. And that right there is actually a PlayStation lava lamp that I got from Europe. It actually has a special plug that I had to get an adapter for in order for that to work. Uh, let's see what else I got here. You know, you know Pandora's box from God of War 3 Collect Edition. Sub-Zero being speared by Scorpion. A couple little things, you know, a few figures. Some Switch games and some cups, some eyeglass. And right here, uh, just a picture of me and one of my really good friends. She's awesome. Her name is Lacey, and she is easily one of the most loving individuals that I've ever known. Who's also a pretty cool contract hitter herself in Geek 2. And she's actually smarter in the geek world than I am in a number of departments. And to keep her safe, I actually keep my favorite weapons as well as a trinity of lightsabers as well as the blade of chaos and thor's hammer and she actually makes some pretty awesome content also so yeah lightsabers captain america shield and my primary you know 54 inch flat screen and some things i keep above all these things kind of light up in a lightsaber now this is my primary desk where all the magic happens so and a some pretty cool Things to share. Uh, believe it or not, the thing about this is also my, my game setup. It's actually pretty cool. The thing that you know I kind of always notice is that all my primary, all my PlayStations are kind of Star Wars themed. So, you know, I got a Star Wars PlayStation Pro, and then my PlayStation Five is an R2, and then once I move this, believe it or not, my PlayStation Three has Luke. So yeah, you know, game setup. I got two gaming chairs. This one was PlayStation theme, and this one is a regular one. Eh, you know, just a couple more pictures. And a Ghost of Tsushima banner. Above here, I got just another shelf where I, well, right now I only have this lonely Terra Tusk. I'm not sure what else I'll add to him. And then on this side, some people know how I feel about Tifa. Not a big fan of what they've done for her in the recent game. You know, just a couple little pictures. Now, for those people who've known me long enough, you know who this is. This is Rachel, and I even got this special lightsaber in, in her favorite color. She is the one who inspired me to start YouTube. And that is just about it in terms of everything I have. But uh, I really want to show you guys one thing. You really got to see what my room looks like while I game, because uh, once all the lights go on and uh, the lightsabers get turned on, this place looks pretty cool, so let's jump right into that. One thing I also have to say I really like is that my room actually looks pretty cool once I get all the lightsabers and all the setup turned on. And I actually installed LED lights behind my main TV, and the color actually changes to whatever game that I'm currently playing. So yeah, I actually think this is actually a pretty cool vibe for a gaming setup. And I think there's my glass lightsaber. So yeah, I don't know. This is actually be, I think it's a pretty cool show place. I think visually it's probably one of the best places I've lived in in the last, like, the last 10 years. So yeah, this is what my room looks like while I game with everything on. So yeah, I think it's pretty impressive. And that about does it for the tour, now that you have a chance to see it from a much different angle than the typical angle you're seeing here. Now, I'm curious, out of all the things you saw in my room, what was your favorite? What do you think is the coolest item that I currently have? And, you know, maybe, perhaps I should add something you think would make the room a little bit more cooler. Share your thoughts with me and everyone else in the comments down below. And like always, thank you guys for watching. You're awesome, and I'll see you guys next time.